Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am having a visit with my nurse practitioner. I have not seen her for a long time. She's kind of the one that was kind of keeping an eye on my thyroid. She um, is really good at um, her knowledge with like hormones and things like that. And um, so I, she's, she's good for a variety of things. And so today I just have an overall general checkup with her um, because also she deals with the woman side of things for me because I um, do have a cyst on my ovary that we're watching that that's, it's, I'm not afraid of it. It's, it's been there forever. Um, it's not a concern, but she kind of deals with that side of things too. And then, um, I don't know, just a lot of, a lot of things. And, but today I, I wasn't sure what we were all, all going to quite talk about, but I was on their website last night. I don't know why, to be honest, you know, except for the fact that I totally feel like it happened for a reason. And the reason why I say that is because I haven't had a very good couple of days, um, emotionally, um, I can tell my hormones are just like <laughs> kind of crazy right now and I've been very like more in a depressed state and it sucks because when that happens like there's a difference for me between being sad and depressed. If I'm sad I can get over it. I can get myself out of it but when I feel that that depressed state it is so incredibly hard for me to pull myself out of that even I try to do my rounds and everything but I just can't seem to it's just really difficult so anyways I was going to talk to her about that and so then on the website um I saw that they have this thing called gene testing well gene no that's not it gene gene site I believe g-e-n-e-s-i-g-h-t where they can swab your cheek and they can um they basically, let's see if I can try to explain this. They can see what medicine your body will best respond to. Um, because obviously, like a lot of people know, I have been on a um, benzo Ativan for quite some time. That was the only thing that helped give me some relief when my world was changing on me and it was it was terrible um I did try a couple of SSRIs in the beginning which I had not so great side effects so I kind of like was like no more of this stuff but the thing is as some of you may know when you've had a prolonged um whatever it may be for a long period of time because the thing is like I the disorder I have it didn't like I didn't have anxiety and depression prior. It's the disorder caused the anxiety, depression because like all of a sudden the world as I knew it changed. Like literally my sensory system went haywire. And so obviously that's going to elevate your anxiety. And then the depression wasn't a thing until like the last year or so. And I, you know, and I think part of that is because it's been so long and you just like, you go in through these things where like for a while you feel well and then you shoot back down and then you feel like crap and then you go back up and you feel great for a while and then you feel hopeful and then you bottom out again and you feel like crap and it's like my body can't handle it anymore to say the least um so anyway sorry try not to cry I literally got to get going in here but I wanted to share this with you because I felt like this may be something that others would be interested in if you have been afraid to take like an SSRI, SNRI, uh, Benzo, I think, check out the website because I'm pretty sure it does a whole lot more than, um, than just that stuff. And so I'm going to request that I can get that test done. Um, and I guess within 36 hours, they have the results back and it literally tells you what medicine um, is best suited for your body and what, I, I don't know, I don't get all that stuff. But I'm like, that's so fascinating because that, I'm kind of open. Let's just say that I, like I said, I'm not anti-medicine. If 
if it's only for a season. And so um, this is me opening it up to it again. I completely shut the door on it because I'm like, I can't go through the whole side effects things. And that's the whole point of this gene testing is that it will um, eliminate you having to do the trial and error thing with medicines. And so I'm like, all right, let's do this. <laughs> so I am going to ask to get that done and I will keep you guys posted on how all that goes. So I will be talking to you guys shortly. Bye. Hey guys, good morning. So today is the next day. So today is Wednesday. I went to my nurse practitioner yesterday and I just got done talking to you guys about um, what I was planning on talking to her about. I And I was thinking about this morning as I was getting ready, I'm, I'm currently on my way to OT right now. So I thought what I could do is just do some check-ins and things like that. Um, until I get those results in and just kind of, so you have like a whole story of the process and like how long it took for me, etc. So, so yesterday I talked about, um, I was going to see my nurse practitioner because of the depression stuff that I'm just like, is ick. Okay. And so I'm kind of open to taking a medicine just for a season. And so, um, but the thing is, I've had bad experiences, so I was going to do this gene site testing. And so we did that yesterday. Super crazy easy. All they did was literally swab both sides of my cheek, put in a little envelope thing, and they send it off. And then the website actually says that within, um, after they get it within 36 hours, that they will report back to my doctor. So... My doctor told me, she's like, they've been really quick about getting um, results back to people lately. So um, I should be hearing, they said, hopefully by Monday. So that's cool. Um, but when I was there, we also decided to do a little bit more blood work um, just to check on some things that um, we've been kind of monitoring for the last couple of years. Um, one is my thyroid. Um, now, thyroid issues run heavily on my mom's side of the family. Um, I have been kind of up and down with my numbers, so they have not put me on anything. But just recently, my son was diagnosed with um, hyperthyroidism in um, Graves' disease, which is not exactly common for a 16-year-old boy. So... Um, especially after my nurse practitioner hearing that she's like let's really just keep an eye on this because the thyroid can cause so many um, problems and issues to your body so we we checked that again I, I haven't gotten any results on this yet and then also my ferritin level now for those of you that may not know um, I'll do my best at explaining this if you don't know what ferritin is um, my iron levels are okay. My iron has always been fine, but your ferritin is basically your storage tank for the, the iron stuff. I don't know, it's hard to explain. But basically, um, the last time they, well, the first time they checked me, I was a seven. Now that is extremely low. Basically, I don't have a storage tank. I don't have like any extra to give my body is is basically what that means if you want to know more about it just look it up but um and so I was taking a ferritin supplement for a really long time and then it went up to like 13 which is still low and then I hit the wall with life and I was like screw everything just being totally honest here and I just stopped supplements everything because I got overwhelmed and so anyways I'm like ah, now that I'm thinking more clearly again, maybe we should just double check my ferritin level and make sure that's okay. So, um, so they, yeah, so they just were checking my thyroid and ferritin and then doing the, um, uh, the, the gene testing thing. Okay. So what else? I, I don't see this nurse practitioner very often. So I just kind of gave her the lowdown on what's been going on. 
um, an overview of the last couple of years and kind of where I'm at now. And, and she straight out told me, she's like, and I love this because she knows how I am about like saying certain things. And then she really tries to watch what she's speaking over people, which I think is amazing as a Christian. That's, I totally believe that. And, I, and if a doctor feels that same way, that's pretty cool. So anyway, she's like, she's like, I, I'm watching my words here, but she's like, I don't know how else to say it. She's like, you have so many similar symptoms and issues as of someone who has had a traumatic brain injury. And I was like, you are not the first person that has told me that. The thing is, when I first had gotten sick, almost every doctor asked me if I recently got hit in the head or anything like that. I'm like, no. But like this um, NP was telling me, she said that um, they're finding more and more people that had blows to the head when they were younger, like 20, 30 years later, they are having um, neurological problems. And I did have a blow to the head when I was younger. I actually was um, kicked in the head, stepped on the head or whatever by a pony pretty significantly that I did black out from that. Um, and I don't recall ever going to the hospital for that. Um, so anyways, it's just kind of interesting, you know, and the thing is too, obviously I have very much the symptoms um, and fit the criteria for triple PD. So she mentioned this place in Minnesota to me that somebody also mentioned to me as well, my OT. So I've got some stuff floating around because like I said to my husband last night, I can't live this kind of life. This is not the kind of life that I want to live. And yes, this is complicated stuff to figure out, but I'm not going to give up. Even though some days I do just want to throw in the towel and just be like, you know, because when was it? Not yesterday, but Monday. Monday was the first day that for 75% of the day I stayed in bed. And I have not done that in months. And I'm like, Monica, that is not you. That's not who you are. Um, so I'm getting a little emotional. Believe it or not, I am feeling a lot more better today. It's just my hormones just like go a little cray cray the last couple days. And so... Um, I need to get that under control right now as well. So anyways, I'm on my way to my OT. Um, I've got a lot of stuff to tell her because she likes to know about everything in my life. She's like, like a, to me, she's like the full package deal. Like she teaches me eye exercises, but also better eating habits. And um, it's just somebody to talk to too. She wants to know how I'm feeling like, have things been good? Have things been bad? So we can like work on this together and just obviously I know she wants to see me well as do I. So, um, sorry, I got distracted. So I'm like, we can turn right on red here. <laughs> Anyways. So I, like I said, I'm on my way to OT and I was like, I think I'm just going to do random check-ins with you guys. Um, when I get results of things too, and just kind of make this like a, it's probably going to be a, a week vlog basically. Cause until I get the, the results of that gene testing or whatever, cause I want to throw that in at the end here. So, so anyways, that's what's up for today. And, um, I'm determined to have a better day today. Yesterday was better than the day before and today is going to be better than it was yesterday. And although I had a hard time reining in my thoughts the last couple days, I know I'm going to do better today. And, and honestly, that's the best we can do. You know, you just keep trying your best and, and that's what I'm doing. So going to OT, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, today is Thursday, April 11th, I believe, and it's around noon. And I did just get the results back from the blood work that I had done earlier this week. And my thyroid is still within normal range, so that is good. Um, my ferritin, on the other hand, I was not surprised because um, the lowest my ferritin has ever been and if you want to know more about ferritin levels like I always say to everyone you can look it up but um, mine is a seven 
Now, most um, clinics and things like that, um, they will tell you that normal range is 13 to like 100 something. I, I can't remember the high number, but but my nurse practitioner said she's like, for females, you should be up like around 50 for your ferritin level. So, and today, um, mine is only at nine. So yeah, I did take a supplement for that for a long time. And then I kind of, like I said, I kind of threw in the towel and I was like, I don't want to take this stuff anymore. Just, there was no reason for it other than I was just, I had a moment in life. And so, um, obviously I, I can't have that low of a ferritin, um, because that will affect, um, some things like my, energy level and things like that and a whole lot more I'm sure I just don't know all I know is nine is way too low and she wants me to get up to 50 unfortunately it takes a while for ferritin levels to um to increase especially way up to that number for me especially I was just talking to my sister for some reason she has a low ferritin too but for some reason hers increases a lot quicker than mine does I don't know. I, I don't know about this stuff. So anyways, um, I'm going to start taking that supplement again today. Um, yeah, along with some other stuff like vitamin D because I know I was low in that. So I just needed to start taking it here in North Dakota. We don't get a whole lot of sunshine and it's funny because it's April and today I have my stocking cap on <laughs> because it actually, it's only like, I think 30 maybe ish um and there's like winter storm potential not right here for in my town thankfully but um south of us they're looking at a foot of snow again and i'm just thank you lord that it's not here i'm so thankful for that i don't mind it i love beanies and sweatshirts so i'm okay with it for today but i would love um summer to come so Anyways, I'm gonna have a good day. I'm feeling much even better today. I know at the beginning of this vlog, it's amazing um, when certain symptoms are heightened. Uh, the difference, I know you can tell the difference from, I think that was, I can't remember if it was Monday or Tuesday, and now it is Thursday. So I'm on the up and up, and it's, it's gonna be a good day. But I gotta get rolling. I'm going to go to a friend's house and hang out and visit for a little bit. And other than that, it's been a pretty chill day. So yeah, I don't know if I'll check in with you again until I get the results of that DNA gene site test thing for medicine. So we will see, I don't know, but I will talk to y'all later, bye. Hey guys, so first of all, I want to say, sorry if the lighting's kind of wonky and stuff. Um, the sun is starting to go down. I have no good lighting anywhere in my house right now. So it, this is just what it's gonna be like, okay? So the, as long as you can hear me, you're good. So because I did get the results from the gene site testing that I had done, um, and it basically, it, it kind of tells you what kind of medications um, that if, if you're gonna have any kind of reaction or that you're more likely gonna have um, a drug interaction to or less likely to um, based on your genetics. And so basically for the test, all they did was swab um, my cheeks and they mailed it off and I got all of this information back. Now, I am not gonna be sharing all of this with you because honestly, I don't know what half of it means. My um, doctor is gonna be visiting with me about it next week, but the main portion of it, it's like common sense. Obviously, I know what this means um, and that I will share with you in a second. But I felt like before I get into that, I wanted to um, just give you a, a little information from the pamphlet that, sorry, if it, like I said, you gotta bear with my lighting on this last part, but um, I got this from Mayo Clinic and it's all about triple PD. Um, and I just wanted to talk about what Mayo Clinic, they suggest for treatment for triple PD. 
okay? Now, I have also decided to do DNRS because um, I do believe in the power of our thoughts and our words and that we can actually rewire and change our brain, and I am still doing that, but I will explain um, why I decided to do what I'm going to do, okay? But first of all, I want, this is what Mayo says for treatment. Um, vestibular therapy is number one, because like people that have triple PD have um, dizziness. And so that definitely has to do with your vestibular system. So um, yeah, vestibular therapy. And also um, he suggested for me cognitive and behavioral um, therapy as well. Um, they actually did not even suggest um, medications to me right away because they knew that I actually had tried um, a couple of SSRIs in the past and I had um, really bad side effects to them. And so um, with my doctor's permission and Mayo Clinic, um, I have been on Ativan and I do take that daily and it has helped me. Now, I must tell you, a benzo is not a medicine that you are supposed to take every day. I had special permission to do that. Um, I'm on a very low dose of it as well, which is good because um, benzos are something that you are going to have to be tapered off of. And um, like I said, that's, that's not the normal protocol and the normal... Um, med that's going to help get you better. It's basically a band-aid to help you handle your symptoms. Um, but like I said, for me, I was given permission to take it daily. I'm prescribed it daily um, because it actually did help me. Okay. But they have found that there are actually SSRIs and SNRIs that um, help that part of your brain. Um, those medications just aren't for people that have depression or anxiety or whatever it may be, but um, it actually is um, shown to help people with triple PD. And you do not have to be on it forever, okay? Um, what did they say here? Because um, with these kind of medicines, it can take six to 12 weeks to even get fully functioning and fully working. But they say um, for most people between vestibular therapy and going on an SSRI for triple PD, that um, a lot of people can get better with a year of treatment. Now I know for some people, they'd be like, oh my gosh, that's a super long time. I'm sorry, but it's not because I'm finding that people with triple PD suffer for years because they've been undiagnosed and not treated properly. So actually when you finally figure out what's wrong and you know um, what treatment it will actually help, um, a year seems like nothing because I know some of you will get what I'm getting at right there. Um, but anyways, so I'm going to share with you um, why I decided to take the test. I think I did mention that a little bit at the beginning. Um, and why I chose to do this route. Now, as you can probably tell, I probably seem a whole lot happier and a whole lot better than I did at the beginning of the video. Um, at the beginning of the video that day, that was rock bottom for me. That was one of my deepest, darkest, terrible, depressed days, and I could not rein myself out. I tried all my techniques, I did everything that I could, and I, I couldn't get out. And I, I don't use this word very often, but I hate that feeling. I hate it so much, and I'm like, I can't do that. Because when I get in that state, that depressive of a state, like I don't do my rounds, I can't eat, I don't care about anything. And I'm sorry, I can't be like that. I cannot function that way. Um, and that is no life to live. And, and that is why I knew I had an appointment with my nurse practitioner and I found out about this gene site testing. Um, the, 
the reason why I decided to do this though is when I first got sick and a couple times in the past, many, many years ago, because I did deal with some seasonal depression because our winters are kind of brutal around here. And so I have tried some SSRIs and I've not had good luck and I've had not pleasant side effects. But this is a uh, genetic testing that tests kind of, it, it will tell you, it won't take away all the side effects or anything like that, but it kind of tells you what your body can tolerate based off of your genetics. And I'm like, for me, that's just peace of mind because they have like a, a, a the first row is like green and then you got your yellow row and then you got your red and the red is the obvious like you stay, try to stay away from those because most likely you're not gonna have very good reaction to those medicines. And for me, I, I, I've been dealing with this for so long and I've been trying so hard, so many different avenues. I'm still going to do my DNRS. I'm still going to do um, everything else that I normally do. I'm in the word of God. I'm praying. I'm doing my just everything. I'm doing everything <laughs> that I should be. I'm trying to eat better. I'm starting to take my supplements again. But I feel like when I get to that one, that place where it's so like low it it almost sets me back and I can't have that happening and that is why I chose to do this and I'm gonna give an SSRI another try okay <laughs> that kind of right there that's kind of funny um, when Mayo Clinic um, they had the report of my notes and everything that the doctors said about me and um, suggestions and things like that um, he did suggest two different kinds of um, I don't know if these are SSRIs or SNRIs um, but they're what they're one of the two but he said that there are two specific ones that are best used to treat um, triple PD patients um, I don't know how to say these scientific names, so I'll say the, the other name for them. The one I'm still not too sure on how to pronounce, but um, Effexor, it's E-F-F-E-X-O-R, and the other one is Cymbalta. So those were the two that Mayo Clinic suggested. What's funny about this, so I got the gene site testing back, and based off of my results, I had a whole bunch in the green, I have three in the yellow and I have four in the red and those are ones that obviously I'm not going to pick one of those medicines. What's funny though is one of the medicines that Mayo suggested is in the green, one's in the red. So obviously for me, for peace of mind, I'm going to go with the one that he suggested that falls in the category and it says just use as directed because the ones in the middle here, I printed these off. That's why you can't see the, the green, yellow, and the red because um, this one says moderate gene drug interaction and then the red is significant gene drug interaction. So, so for me, that just kind of gives me peace of mind that um, hey, I could probably give this one a try and I'm gonna probably be okay with maybe some mild side effects. But what's interesting about this is um, years ago, I did deal with some seasonal depression, as I said, and I did try a couple of medicines. One I tried was Wellbutrin and it worked for me. Um, and that one ended up in my green section. Um, I also years ago tried Zoloft and I had a terrible reaction to it right off the bat. Like I felt like electricity in my brain and I was freaking out. Like I, I know they say like things like that can happen right away, but I'm like, I'm not gonna keep taking it and hope that it goes away. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be that person. But that one, Zoloft, actually ended up in the yellow for me. Um, I would say about six months ago or so, I also tried Celexa because they said usually if you have a parent or somebody that is on a medication, you might do well on that too. So I gave that one a try. I did okay on it, but I stopped taking it for whatever reason. And that one was also in the yellow. So that obviously, that was not a great choice for me. So it's, it's kind of interesting. This is actually kind of accurate to what I've experienced. Um, 
The next page is benzos and like um, more for like anxiety type panicky medicines to help you chill out like now type of stuff, okay? Um, what's interesting about this is basically every single one, um, like I said, I know it's gonna be hard to see here. Let's see if I can kind of get it a little bit better. Um, this is my green section right here. Um, I can handle almost all those meds. Um, I have one in the yellow and none in the red, which is honestly not surprising to me because um, I, I haven't had any bad reactions or um, side effects from taking Ativan. And I did have somewhat of a side effect to clonazepam um, because the, they did try that with me, but it made me a little bit sad, but that was just a mild side effect. And I'm not on that on a regular basis. Um, I just wanna share with you what, just quickly some other kind of drugs that they, they do within this gene site testing for those of you that may be curious. Um, Antipsychotics, I, I don't know, honestly, I don't even know what these medicines are. I don't have to take these, um, but it, it still gave me my list of good, not so good, bad, you know? Um, mood stabilizers, what else? They also, like I said, there's a lot of sheets in here, but um, my doctor is gonna go over this more with me with the other stuff that I, I don't even know if it matters to be honest, <laughs> all these other sheets. But I, like I said, I just wanna give you information on what kind of medicine that they, they test. Um, also opioids um, and non-opioids. For me, I basically show that I would react to um, those just fine. I don't have any in the red and then just one in the yellow. Um, thank, goodness I don't have to take any of that kind of medicine anyways um, let's see I want to try to hurry this up because it's getting kind of long and I know this video is gonna be a long one anyways I just want to make sure I give you all the information that I know I can um, also ADHD medicine um, once again I do not I don't need medicine like that um, they have like Adderall and Ritalin and things like that. Like for me, there's like a few that I could tolerate and some that I probably would have some reactions to. But like I said, I, I don't need that kind of medicine, but it's in the results anyways. And at the very end, they also, I actually ended up looking this up a little bit. I'm not going to talk too much about it because I'm not very educated on it, but it does show that I have the MTHFR gene, which I, from what I understand, from what I looked up, um, is passed down from a parent, one or both, and mine was passed down by one of my parents. Um, I'm not gonna try to explain all of that because it is complicated. Um, it just means I'm gonna have, probably have to make some lifestyle changes, which I'm already starting to do anyways. And like I said, that's something my doctor is probably gonna talk to me about. So, like I said, this is called um, Gene Sight, and it's G-E-N-E-S-I-G-H-T. I will try to remember to link the website below if you are interested, if you are in kind of the same position as I am in, Honestly, I prayed about this and I feel like, you know, especially as Christians, like there are so many people like ashamed to like admit like they're struggling with something. Like for me, for instance, like when I first got sick, I did not have depression problems at all, but I've been dealing with this for almost two years now. And it's just kind of something that happened. I didn't want it to happen, but it just kind of did. And so I, um, I'm making the choice to add this to my um, routine to help me get better, hopefully a lot quicker so I don't have any more dips and that I can um, heal from this quicker um, because I've had enough personally and I'm ready to be done. So I hope this was helpful. Like I said, I know it's a long video, so kudos to you if you made it through all of it. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, um, subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it, and if you got something out of it, and 
honestly, the reason why I'm doing this is to educate people on on triple PD and other invisible illnesses because when this first happened to me, like I I was freaking out and I I didn't understand what's happening and and I just want to bring more awareness to it because I know personally in my my group of people and like where I live and stuff like yeah people talk about anxiety and depression and stuff but like fibromyalgia is like an invisible illness and triple PD and there's there's lots of different things like people that deal with other sensory disorders and um, I just think it needs to be brought to the surface a little bit more and we all just need to help each other out so that's my two cents that's my information that's where I'm at right now um, and so yeah I also have another video idea coming up pretty soon and um, yeah hope this was helpful and I hope you guys have a great Easter weekend with your families and I will see you in my next video bye